Get away from the wall. Get away from the wall. I can't murder if you you if you're near the wall. Come here. Is he stuck? There he goes. Now he's now he's away from the wall. Now I can actually get him. This guy's stuck too. There we go. Yeah, the enemies can get stuck on things sometimes. That's kind of a pro that's kind of a problem in itself. Although I can't really blame that on the developers because dumbass AI in video games has always been a thing. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Day Blob. So we're actually moving on to some new content this time. Because as I explained in the last episode, I finished Uptown like three times trying to get it to record and I couldn't get it to record. But now we're actually moving on to a new level this time, which is downtown. And they've added a new theme. I'm gonna just go with random as per usual. Ooh, news. Yeah, I'd be upset too if somebody defaced my statue. Not that I like the guy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, new enemy. Okay, that was really funny. Comrade Black today denounced the color rebels. Who did this? I want them found. I want them now. Sounds like Ink President didn't see us coming. Our next goal is to bring color back to the people of downtown. The gradients, the gradient workers live in the slums of Chroma City. We can help them. Help us. Something tells me this time it won't be so easy, Blob. Orders received. Stop the rebels. Check. Yeah, we have a new enemy this level. This plan is working, Blob. Our raid on, up on Uptown left ink reeling. We must now move downtown and win more gradients over to our cause. Ooh, more highway stuff. This freeway leads all the way downtown. There's a checkpoint at the end. Inked knows you're coming. Yeah. New enemies. They also have devised terrible traps to cook you. Defy them and carry our message through the gate to the gradient workers. Yeah, we got uh, some new things we can do this time around. We got new threats to worry about. Anyway. Oh, this is a gas station. That's what it is. And this is a really tiny car. Tiny car for the tiny people inside. Okay. Yeah. I figured I'd record this again. But, well, yeah. Figured I'd record it again because it's been a while. You're on your way to the slums, Blob. Many gradients are here, oppressed by ink. Race down the freeway to begin the fight. Let's run over some vehicles. Let's run into moving traffic. Isn't that a good message to be teaching kids? Seriously. Seriously, that's the main that's the main gimmick of some of this level. Run into traffic. And just get hit by oncoming cars. That's the that's that's the game mechanic. That's the game saying that. I'm making a joke about it, but that's what. But the game is telling uh, telling you that that's okay, and it's not okay. These are the 
sound barriers for the for the highway, aren't they? That's what I think they are, at least. I honestly can't tell. How do I get to that swirly? I see a swirly up there, but I don't know how to get to it. Oh, there's a monorail. That's probably how. Hmm. Oh, well, I probably won't be getting that one. Get off the car, Blob. There we go. Blob, there's an inked checkpoint down there. Since the, since the occupation, access to downtown has been strictly controlled. Looks like they've stepped up security even further since we've hit uptown. The checkpoint is guarded by heavy Yankees. These guys can shoot you out of the air. They're very shiny. I'll tell you how to take them out. Yeah, heavy inkies have a ranged attack. That's what they're. That's mainly what they do. They're they're also more expensive to take out than regular inkies. The ring throw attack can ink you from a distance. Yeah, wait until a heavy inky is reloading before you attack. So you have to wait until they're. So you have to get them to bait them into attacking you, in order to get them to actually attack you before you can attack them. So you need to bait them into attacking you to get them to attack you. I really do not appreciate that. There we go. You just bait them into attacking you and you're gold. You're golden. Some of the enemies in this game aren't very hard. There's one enemy that, in particular, that I like, but that's not until very late game. These these tenements are derelict. Paint them yellow, and we and we can live here again. I'm not entirely sure how painting them yellow turns them makes it um, automatically a able to be lived in again. But this is the blob, so I'm not going to question it all that much. Yeah. But anyway. Hmm. Well, here's a swirly. The Inkies have placed blob traps all over downtown. Here are some of their terrible hot plates. You can deactivate them by slamming the button. If you touch a hot plate, you'll fry. If that happens, press A to stop yourself sizzling. Get past the hot plates, our comrades are waiting. Alright. Challenge complete. Okay. Amount of pain points. Well, that's a that's bad. Where are my pain? Oh, Inkies. Hi. Does liberating gradients cost pain points? I forget. I honestly forget. It's been a while since I played this. Blob, ink propaganda is everywhere. We must spread our revolutionary message. Paint these three billboards. Yeah. Oh, 
I already got one, so we're good. I forgot. A new challenge is available. What challenge? It's a Biff challenge, I can tell that. Way to go, Blob. You KO'd the Inkies until a unit I was about to tell you about. Oh. So I, so I finished the miss mission without even realizing it was a mission. Well. There we go. Gate unlocked. Also, Swirly. I want the Swirlies. There's one Swirly I don't think I'll be able to get for a while. I need to figure out how to get on top of the tramway to get that one. Uh, I don't know. Also, I think I figured out one of my recording issues that I've been having. So, so one of the things that's been happening is that when I try to record a game, like, say, Day Blob, um, but what happened is, the game, what, what, okay, so what would happen is, I guess the best, the game would just drop frames randomly. And I figured out why that is, so, so I've been upgrading my PC to, just to, just in general, to try and make it a bit stronger so I can do things better, more things with it. Oh, ink. Cutscene. I guess I'll finish the story later. These are the slums, Blob. Gradients live here without color or hope. Yeah. You can ch you can charge up that no, you, okay you can charge up these ink landmarks and give them a real I don't know restore these buildings to rally the workers they don't yeah okay so back to what I was saying so it, so I figured it out I've been upgrading my PC in general when the color energy is up continue down to the lower sector okay okay so back to what I was saying um uh, blob let me show you way up to the rooftops we can plan our next move up from up there just way quick okay but what I'm saying is that. The thing, the the thing I've been having trouble with recording lately is that the game, the games will just, the recording software will just randomly drop frames, and for the longest time I couldn't figure out why. Um, but then I did figure, but then I did figure it out, and it has something to do with my monitor. Apparently, I knew, I know for a fact, I already knew this, but my monitor is really old, and I thought I would explain it to you guys. It's we've had it for a while. It's been we've had it for quite a lo long time. It's an old, it's a very old monitor, but, but the reason I'm telling you this is that, a, is that because it's an old monitor, the refresh rate on the monitor is actually kind of bad. It's, so, the problem is, is that, refresh, if you guys don't know what refresh rate is, it's essentially how many frames play on a monitor at one given interval of time, and... The reason that's important for recording, per se, is because, well, see, the, the reason refresh time is important is, is that it, is that refresh time reduces the chance of how many frames you drop when you're recording or playing a game or something. And when you're trying to record Let's Plays, for example, that's extremely important. Or you're trying to play some a shooter game like, say, Fortnite, just as a random example. I mean, I don't particularly like Fortnite, but it's a good example, so I'm using it. But anyway, the problem with that is that for, is that the lower your refresh rate, the ink cops are looking for us. Beat them down, Blob. I died. But anyway, the thing about this is that. That was the first time I failed the challenge, I think. Can I restart the challenge? Okay, so what I was saying was... Refresh rate is important. Okay, so what I was saying was refresh rate isn't... I'm, I'm getting sidetracked, but... Am I in the wrong spot? Or do I feel like I'm in the wrong spot? 
I am because I am in the wrong spot. Can I do the mission over? Yeah, the mission can be done over. Okay. But the thing the reason refresh rate is important is because it's the reason refresh rate is important is because it helps with with frame rate issues because frame rate is very important when you're trying to play a game because games because the in cups are looking for beat them down okay so i can actually do it again Okay, but the reason refresh rate is important is because frames, because if the game, the t most games run at 60 frames per second, and if the game, and if the refresh rate for your monitor isn't at least 60 frames per second, you're going to lose frames. So, and that's kind of important when you're trying to play a game. The Rose's Revolution is taking hold, racing the alley up and down the building. I found a good place to look at the, okay. But yeah, what I'm saying is that is that refresh rate is important, and some of you may not know that. Well, there's a very good possibility that all of you know that, and I'm just slow. But but if you didn't know that, I just explained it to you. Refresh rate is important for games because if the game if the refresh rate is under is under the frames per second counter, then it's gonna cause problems for your PC. Okay, that was easy. All right. Yeah, this game can be long sometimes. Okay. But yeah, I figured Day Blob was like the best opportunity to talk that for to talk to you about that. So if you guys notice those random cuts in the middle of videos, that's what that is. I'm cutting out the I'm cutting out the frame problems because my game is having a terrible refresh rate problem because of my monitor. Thank you for sending reinforcements. Brought them from behind their own dumb statue. There we go. Some of these levels are big. Dude, new challenge is available. Now I can bring some real change to downtown. I remember watching so many games in the field. Paint all six high-rise blocks around the square. Paint each block a different color. Bring back the people, bring back the fun. Okay, so this is a. Th this seems like it would be a three three star challenge. Um, well, let's start with this one because it's the closest to the color I've got. Um, oh, I need red. I need red to finish that one. Red. Here we go. No gradient left behind. Yeah, and one question I do have. I, d I do want to say, though, this game can be weird sometimes. I need orange. Where's my yellows? Where's my yellows at? Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, the game, I will say, the game is pretty boring, but I do like the soundtrack. That's the one, that's the, that's the one thing that's keeping me coming back. The game is sort of fun, but, but it has a very awkward camera. You can't change it very quickly. This blob. Or oh, wait, I should. I'll do it later. I'm working on something else right now. So where's my yellow buildings? I have yellow buildings that I need to paint, right? Yeah, they're right there. How do I get up there? This is probably why they gave me so much time. Because they knew somebody was going to get stuck on this. Okay. Now I need a green. Now I need green. So grab you again.
Hmm. Who's blue? There we go, blue. I'm gonna color the green. And then I'll work on blue. Oh, there was a blue right there. Good job, me. I need a yellow now. Perfect! I am a genius! Oh. I'm running out of time! Shit. Yeah, that's the problem with this game. There's time- there's a lot of time limit issues. It's one of the reasons why I don't like the game. Because I do not like time limits. And that's basically all this game is. It's just one big time limit. Oh, I need to be blue. Why do I- why am I not blue anymore? There we go. Why was I not blue? Wall jumping is very difficult to pull off in this game. Why am I still trying to do it? Is there a way to get up here that I don't know about? Um, there's very likely a way to get up here that I don't know about. And that would be it. What am I missing now? Camera, if you could cooperate. Alright, there we go. The, the camera's very awkward. Oh, I need green. That's what's the problem. I missed the green. Oh, I need a Z-jump. There we go. Now we're doing it! Alright. What do you need help with? The Inkies plan to demolish this slum because it, it blocks the view of their statue. Paint this block orange and reclaim it forever. I just... Oh. Oh. I missed some gradients over here. There you go, little guys. But yeah. This game... The soundtrack is amazing in this game. But... It, and it is... And I do like... And while it does do a good job of teaching people color... And that's really it. Some of the messages in this game are the reason why I don't like it. I don't know, maybe if the messages were a bit better, I'd like it a bit more, but... Apparently the sequel fixes a lot of the problems with the original. And I haven't played the sequel, so I so I guess we'll see for, together if we if I, they're actually correct or not. Alright. Where's, where's my next mission? You. Preserve the cultural institutions. Liberate the town hall, the ink police station, and the propaganda tower. Make our voice heard with yellow pain points. Public a access to public works. Okay. So we got a police station we need to color. I think I have enough pain points. Oh, the Inkies know I'm attacking their, sta their station. Doesn't surprise me in the least, but... Oh, that poor... Yeah, that's the problem I have with the police station sometimes. Sometimes the game just freaks out and spawns them on top of one another. Yellow! Wait, is that why there's so many yellow paint pots around here? There you go, little guy. Is this a... Yeah, some of these buildings, as I said, do look similar, but I forget what this one is. It's been a while. It's been years since I played the game, so I'm, so I'm doing a lot of what's going on here from memory. Oh.
Well, that didn't really help fix any of the statues. That's what I was hoping it would fix. And you 15. Okay. Well, I know where to get some paint bots, so that's not a big deal. Where are, where are my yellows? Where are my yellows at? Oh, nope, not you. You. Now let's hope I get back with there with enough pain points. Alright, I just had barely I had just barely enough time to finish that one. I will say though, even though the propaganda towers are all the same, they do have unique unique ap appearances for each stage. And that's okay. And that's fine with me. Um, where do I go next? I'm trying to get this... Tr Let's see. I have... How many? Okay, Blob. Artie has another mission for you. Race to the top of the blocks near the gate. Watch out for the hot plates. Okay. Yes. He says, well... Making me dr go right in the hot plates. I really hope I'm doing this correctly. I have no idea where any of the missions are. Where are the mark where are the mission markers? Did I did I miss one? Did I miss one along the line? I did. There we go. I got sidetracked! I went the wrong way! Oh, the, the, you mean the one right next to me? Oh, transform engine's ready. Okay, cool. Alright. Ink advertising is brainwashing the populace. Paint all three billboards around the town structure. You, you can each them with Z-drums. Oh, that one I didn't get. I need paint. I'm not going to be able to do any of these with paint without paint. Alright, time to grab some paint then. That's good. That works. I have a minute, so I'll be fine. Okay, so if I walk on the hot plates, I just get free time? That's fascinating. Okay, that's why the Z jumps are... Alright, that was easy. I only had the one. I got the other ones. What else, what else do I have for missions? What other missions do I have in the area? Here's my compass. Uh, well, let's get this. Ta-da! Fixed. Oh, there's the blimp. I can never get that blimp. But I might be able to get this, get it for this one. I don't have the time to stand and wait around. Many of the great radiance of sp sporting heroes grew up in this neighborhood, Blob. Since Ian crushed all hope, nobody runs or jumps or plays ball anymore. People need heroes. I've marked out a challenging race course for you above the canal. Inspire the gradients with wild suns and taunt the Iggies. Ready, set, go. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. This one was a pain in the ass to finish. I remember this one. I remember this one well. This one is seared into my memory. Oh, door's open. Of course, they don't want me going in there. Because it's carved by heavy inkies and a hot plate switch that I can't 
what possibly get to. Where is it? Okay, that one was a lot easier than I remember it being. Or am I for... Maybe I was just an idiot as a child. That's probably it. Bob, these buildings were once colorful apartments set along a pretty canal. No, they're all mixed, mired in ink and misery. Paint them purple and yellow to raise the hopes of the people. I gotta paint them purple? Hi. Well, how am I supposed to get there without getting completely soaked? I ran into the water, as I, as I expected I would. As I expected I would, I ran into the ocean. Hmm. No, wrong colors. This is you. This is what I want. I want this. And what am I missing? I need a red. Where's the red? Where's the reds at? I just had a red. There we go. Oh. We're running out of time. And we're out of time. Yes. I want to retry the challenge because I ran out of time. yellow. Looks like somebody's got color ID. Haha, -ha, fun me joke. Alright. Alright. I didn't even, that's not even my joke. I stole that from Mad, from the Mad TV show. It got cancelled, I think, because they couldn't get away with as much stuff as they did with the, with the magazines. So they cancelled it. It was a good show, though. Alright, where am I going? Do I have any missions left in this area? I have... I have a Biff mission over here. I forgot about that. This blob over here. There's a patrol of 10 Inkies closing in on us. Let's say you get out, out there and knock them down like nin nine pins. Let's go Inky bowling, blob. Okay, I can do this. Where are they at? Where are they? I hear them, but I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Got it. Okay. Is that the only mission in the area? Is that, the, is that my last remaining mission in the area? I think it might be. I'm, I might be mistaken on that, but... Just in case, let's check my map. Oh, there's what? There's some over here. I missed something over here. Oh, I missed a whole bunch over here. Wait, it says there's one over here, but I don't. What? I missed one over here, but I don't see it. Oh, it's up here. It's, that's why I, I didn't see it. It's, I didn't see it because it was out of my line of vision. That would explain a lot of things. Okay. Jump! I can't jump. Oh, there we go. I was not supposed to go up that way. I was supposed to go up this way. Ah, platformers. I knew you when. The truth about color must be told. Paint these two high billboards. The Z-jumps will get you there. Yeah, I don't... Okay. There's the other billboard. There we go. Is that all of them? I think I missed a couple over here. Let's see. Where's the compass? Okay, there's only ones over here now. Okay, I missed this entire area. 
Although I have a feeling this is the area I'm supposed to go to. So, yeah, that would be... This is the area I'm supposed to go. Okay, I'm good. Hmm. I don't know. There's a swirly. Can I get the swirly? I'm not entirely sure if I can get the swirly. It's possible I can get the swirly. I'm, I really just have no faith in myself. There we go. I did get the swirly. I don't think I got all the swirlies, though. And I forget how many areas are left. Blub, see how Inked has forced the gradients to live next to the factories? The buildings behind me are stacked on one on top of the other. Free the people and win them up to a cause. Paint their homes in revolutionary red. Red? What about red is re revolutionary? Although now that although now that she says something, I do indeed see that they did indeed stack all the all the buildings on top of one another. It's almost as if this game has a good game design. Oh, keyword almost. Hmm. Okay. I need Oh, the game gives me gave me a lot of time for this. That's generous. That's a generous amount of time. They knew I was gonna fall off and hit and and have to jump off a several different times. Don't touch the hot plate. The hot plates are dangerous. Do not touch them. You will catch on fire and probably die. There we go. Mission done. Nutrient. Ooh, transform engine. Where's that? Probably in a place I haven't been to yet. Sounds about right. Okay. Collect! I don't know. I, I mean... Yeah, the game... I do not... Yeah, the time limit for this game is... Some, can be very unforgiving if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, well. That doesn't help. I'm dead. Okay. I need... I need paint. Fortunately, there's like 12 paint bots over here. Why are there so many paint bots over here? I don't know. Also, there's a time... There's a timey thing I can get, but I can't get that. I guess I do know it's called a clock. I just... I'm not very good with the numbers. Inkus brought more heavy inkies. They're blocking the gate. Surely no ink weapon can stop Blob. You're not gonna spawn more, are you? Because that would be kind of a dick move. Aha! Hot plates are gone. That's how it's supposed to work. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think I've done everything I can in this sector. But just to be sure. Yeah, everything in the everything is in the next sector. Alright, onward we go then. Yeah, the game gets very long after this point. Blob, the gradients in this sh shanty town cry for one to rescue them from the pits of despair, and there's ink everywhere. Okay, that's fun. Their original homes have been flooded with ink. Fun! <laughs> Clean up the area and, and rise above to strike back at the Church of Inktology. That's a church? Could have fooled me. The exit pool is nearby. Well, easy swirly. 
I definitely missed one. I know I definitely missed one, so I don't think I'm going to get the bonus for that. Color will rise again, even in the slums. Strike a blow for unity. Liberate those gradients. Okay, so I'm doing something... So this is a diff So this mission is different from other... Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get sick. And I'm dead. Look. I got very, very sick and died. I know. Thank you. Thank you, Artie. Get out of here, you stupid inkies. Nobody likes you. Especially me. Alright. Color. Inky and... There we... Oh. Did I not get them all? Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. Up oh, there is one. Hello. Oh. I'm just death incarnate now. And I'm dead. Don't walk in the ink, kids. You'll die. You'll get very sick and die. Especially if you're Blob. Because Blob is... Mi because Blob... We don't know what he is. We don't really know what Blob is. They, the game... The ga neither game explains that. It's just like... Hey, there, here's a guy who can color things. Isn't that cool? Yeah, but where'd he come from? Why is he... Why is he here? What is his purpose? Where did he... Who made him? Because he's... Because he's a Radiant, but he's a mutated Radiant. And the game never really takes, takes time out of its busy schedule to explain what exactly is going on with Blob. Don't... I mean, I understand why he's doing it. It's because he lives in the city, and he loves the city, and he wants to help his city. But what is he? Where did he come from? The game never explains that. Where's the water? 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 Let's... Let, delay... Delay the inevitable. Delay the inevitable. Come on. Ugh. Ink. I do not like the ink. Ink is disgusting. I played Benny and the Ink Machine, and now I'm playing this. Although, I guess play is kind of a broad understatement because of how badly the game was lacking out when I recorded it. Block, can you paint all the buildings down here? The poorest gradients need color most. Okay, so the game just doesn't give a shit about what I color them. Just like, color them! I don't really care! I don't really care at this point, so go ahead, do whatever. That's... Let's not walk in the ink. Ink is our enemy. Hmm. Also, I do want to talk about the Inkies a little bit. So, well, these are the worst slums of all. See how ink pumps its garbage here? Paint these tenants blue and then show the people that life can be better than this. Oh, well, that's no big deal. Okay, so I want to talk about the Inkies a little bit. So, the thing about the Inkies is that they're aliens. That's uh, That part's obvious. But, but as opposed to the... But the thing about Inkies is that they're like the polar opposite of Gradient Radians, who seem to just kind of party, who seem to just kind of party all the time, as opposed to the Inkies, who are just who are just all strict business all the time. So the so the so it's kind of a message of how hey, the Inkies are bad because they're strict. But let's be honest, let's be honest. The, life life in Radio was kind of, life in this place was kind of. In, crazy all the time anyway so you so saw the inkies kind of came in and gave order and while they are kind of go doing it to the extreme i can't say i completely disagree with their idea they came they came across a place with no real structure whatsoever and were like ow where's my time 
They can't. They came across a place that really didn't have much of a much of a social structure, and tried to fix it for and tried to fix it. And while they didn't do a very good job, they they suck at it. Um, they tried to impose a lot of things on the on the Inkies that, well, not the Inkies, but on the Radiants that they probably shouldn't have. And that's kind of a problem. But, but it's like the Inkies came along and were like, hey, these guys kind of don't really have a, have any social structure. They kind of just party all the time. And, and the, and they're like, okay, let's try and see if we can fix it. I mean, we don't, we don't really like fun. Oh, exit pool's open. Well, that was quick. That was, that was very quick. That was... I did not. I did not expect the exit pool to be open this soon. What time? What? How long have I been recording for? Forty-five minutes. Okay. But yeah, the Inkies just kind of came along and tried to fix things. And while they did do some things for the worse, they did try and give. They did come along and try and give the Inkies a little bit of balance, and get, bring ra and bring Radians and Inkies together. They tried to. I guess they tried to make it, make it so that they people were actually trying to work. And not just party all incessantly all the time. And while I don't agree with that co whole message about how, oh, corporate life is bad and and having fun is good, it's 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 supposed to be more of a balance. And the game doesn't really strike all that all that much of balance between the two. It's like one is bad, one the one is bad, the other is good. And. In real life, that's not how it works. Yeah, you can have fun sometimes, but you also need to know when you're supposed to work, and you need to work for a paycheck. You need to you need to be willing to work for what you do, because without that, you're going to basically have a anarchy. Because if you don't work, people need to work for a paycheck so that they can actually go out and have some fun. If they don't, if they don't do that, then it would just be anarchy. Because if nobody had any, f was able to pay, was able to buy fun, then they would basically just, you know, wouldn't ha be able to have fun. And that's kind of a bad idea for what the game is trying to set up. It's trying to set up the fact that the game that there's that one is inherently worse than the other, and that's not the case. They're kind of two halves of the same coin. You can't have one without the other. But the game doesn't really do a good job of explaining that. And that's why I'm, and that's why I'm not particularly fond of this game because the game, because the game's story is kind, kind of, because the game's story is kind of a mixed message. It's, it's teaching, it's teaching people all the wrong things. It's supposed to be teaching them. Games are supposed to teach people morals and stuff like that. Like in Spec Ops: The Line, you, you're assuming it's another first-person shooter and third-person shooter like every other third-person shooter, but in actuality, it's not so much about. It's it's more about how the fact that you're that the character you're playing as is completely and utterly insane. And the game knows that because after a while the game just the game starts telling you that you could have put down the controller at any time, but you kinda but you're kind of screwed if you do and screwed if you don't, because at the one hand you want to see how the game ends, but on the other hand you're doing some really horrible things to the peop to the people of Dubai. And that's a great message. The game's boring as hell. The game's boring as hell to play, but that's the whole point. Thought we must complete our cleanup of the slums. I marked my way to the water pump. Be careful. There are hot plates in the way. You can deactivate them by slamming the buttons. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little philosophical here for a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna pause the. I'm gonna pause the game so I can actually. All right. There we go. But anyway. But anyway, what I'm saying is that the game doesn't really do a good job of portraying a, a good message. The message, the message, the message the game is going for is the message the game is going for is that fun is that fun is good and business is bad, and that's really not. It's a balance, as I said. You can't have one without the other because without the without both, if you don't have both. The game, the game just kind of falls into an anarchy, and that's a problem. This, because that. I mean, the second game does a pretty good. 
does a better job of fixing the, some of those problems, as I've been told. But I've never played the second game. I'm talking about the first game. The first game isn't all that blob. We must wash away the ink's garbage. Comrade Black has used these water pumps to pump ink into our waterways. However, with color energy, we can reverse the cycle. Transform this water pump with 50 purple pain points and flush the ink from the slums. But yeah, we're, now we have to color this. I don't think I'm going to do very well on this level. Because because after this, the levels get... After the first level, they get really big. And it's very hard to tell what you're supposed to be doing. It's very hard to keep track of all the collectibles after this point. Yeah! Everything's clean now. Now we can, now we can run around without having to worry about it. New challenge is available. There's another transform engine. Ooh, right in front of the church. If you can even call it a church. We've, we've nearly won back the slums, Blob. You can reach the final district by, of downtown by using these E-jumps. Take this to the heights. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, the game just doesn't have a very good message. And that's kind of a problem when you're trying to make a good game. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, gameplay is important too, but if you but you really need a good story to carry your game. Without a good story, you're you basically got nothing. All right. Now I need to go back to where it was. Because that was a one-way trip. That was a one-way trip. I'm not going to be able to get back from, from that way. Well, I guess I should take this out while I'm here. The, bill, the bullies from this Inks police station have banned soccer in this neighborhood. Shut down the station with 50 red pain points and let, let them play. Alright, now we need red paint. I'm going to be here forever if I'm trying to fight these guys. I'm not here to fight the dudes. That's not my intention. That's not my goal. I mean, it is my goal, but it's not my goal right now. I'm just trying to bring back fun. Because fun is outlawed in this world. And that's a problem. Even though, even though as my rant just told you, that's not really a good message. Fun is outlawed. But you need, but you do need some social structure. All right, there goes the police station. Goodbye. There goes your police station. Now I can murder you. Now I can murder you guys without having to worry about them all spawning at once. Get away from the wall! Get away from the wall! I can't murder if you you if you're near the wall. Come here. Is he stuck? There he goes. Now he's now he's away from the wall. Now I can actually get him. This guy's stuck too. There we go. Yeah, the enemies can get stuck on things sometimes. That's kind of a pro that's kind of a problem in itself. Although, I can't really blame that on the developers, because dumbass AI in video games has always been a thing. How do I get back to where I was? I had a mission back there that I need to finish. Hmm. Ten out of fourteen. I definitely missed some somewhere. I know for a fact that I missed some of those somewhere. I didn't. I never claimed to do one to be going for one hundred percent. But the glorious people blob. Show the inky that we do not fear them. Show the radiance that hope rolls among them. Go now, broad daylight, and parade through our streets. Oh, well, there's one.
Okay. He's blob, Ink tried to rally us. They're too late. Downtown is in our grasp. Bury them. You know, you seem to be a bit... You, you know, Biff seems a bit too happy to murder. Have you noticed that? Biff seems just a bit too happy to murder. I'm missing challenges somewhere. Let the people know that you have come to our wilderness to save them, Blob. Paint these buildings blue and green like trees along the riverbank. Blue and green. Well... I can handle the green part, but I need the... Oh! I completely forgot you were a thing. I got all the transform engines. I did not color any of the buildings but around me. And I'm brown. That was not my intention. I did not want to be brown. Why am I brown? Fifty percent painted. I should. Pro I would like to come back and play this game in free play mode because it's a lot less stressful. I'll be honest, it's a lot less stressful to play this in free play mode, in free paint mode, because you don't have to worry about the damn time limit. You can just run around and and play color, play with colors. It's fun. I like the free play mode. Yes, thank you. Thank you for- thank you. Thank you for proving my point! The time limit is stressful. Alright. Where- how do I get back to where I was? It's times like this where I miss minimaps in games. It was a one-way trip and there's a mission down there I didn't get. Oh, how I wish I could go back down there. See, I can see it! I can see it from here! I can freaking see it! How the hell do I get back there? I can't jump from this one! Can I do the w one from the wall jump? No. I can't get back to the one I missed. Ah, oh, boy. Can't get back to that one. I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. Got a life. Oh, that is very annoying. I cannot tell you how annoying that is. No. If I had known, if I had known I couldn't come back, I would have just played through, I would have just talked to Art right then and there. But I can't, because I can't go back. That's annoying. None of the game's very good with your back, with the backtracking and all that. I complain about backtracking sometimes, but in this game I want the backtracking now. Because if they're going to do that to me, that's a pain in the ass. Okay. Alright. That tall building is the Church of the Inkology. As soon as they see you coming, they'll send out Inkies to defend it. Take them all on, and then the prof can show you how to transform it. Okay, so I have... Well, there's all the Inkies. Hi, Inkies! You want to you want to be murdered today? No, too bad because that's what the game's telling me to do. I know you guys are like evil dictators or something, but it's not your fault. The game's just like, hey, let's murder you, and that's what I'm doing because I do what the game tells me to do. Can we go, can we transform it now? 
All right, how many pain points do I need? Inks fly. Inks lies keep the gradients and chains. Transform the Church of Ecology to free up the slums. Fix it right with 50 blue, 50 yellow, and 50 red pain points. Yay, and how am I supposed to do that? The game gives me two minutes to get up here. Oh. Oh. The game gives me two minutes to do this. I need a lot of pain points to do this. And then the game isn't probably not going to give me enough. Poof. Oh, I need... Oh, I need to go back down. I remember this one. I have to keep constantly going down and going back up in order to reset all the things. This one's a pain in the ass. I remember this one. I remember this one well. I do not very much care for it. Fortunately. Fortunately, once I do this one, it shouldn't really matter all that much. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I forget what this transforms into. Doesn't it transform into a skate park or something? Yes. Well, now I can leave. There's nothing else for me to do except for that one mission I can't get to, so... Oh. Now I can go through here. Oh. I've never... I never really stayed on that thing for an extended period of time. I forgot that was a thing. Alright. Where's my exit pool? Because there's nothing else for me to do here, so I'm out. I've done my job. I'm leaving. Bye. Fifty percent paint percentage challenges. I missed five. What did I miss five? Time clear under twenty minutes. Yeah, right. Styles I knew I didn't do. Trees I knew I missed. Gradients I missed a whole bunch of them. Billboards eighteen out of thirty-one. Okay, I missed billboards and the blimp I could have gotten several times and didn't. All right. Um, yeah, I missed a whole bunch of stuff there. New story level, new free paint mode, and new cutscene. Alright. And now I've unlocked a new mode for Blob Party. I've never, I haven't played the Blob Party mode, but I finished. But now we move on to Croba Dam next time. Yeah, and now we have Sizzle Race. And yeah, okay, so we can move on to the next one, to this one next time. I'm um, interested, okay, well, as I said, the game does have some problems, and it gets, and some of them get worse, but I'll explain those when I get to them. So, overall, so far, I'm kind of on the fence about the game, as I said, I don't particularly care for it. It's kind of growing on me, but not a whole lot. Because, as I said, the game just ha just doesn't have a very good message, and it's kind of and it's kind of awkward. But the, and the game is kind of boring to play because of how it works. You have to run, you have to constantly run around, find missions, and complete them. But that isn't a big deal. So I definitely am going to return with more of this. I don't know when, but I am going to try and return with more of this and continue playing it. So. If you guys didn't enjoy this episode of Day Blob, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, 
be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below because I have... I post updates over there. So definitely go check that out because I really don't post update vlogs and that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And also, f check out my Patreon if you guys want to help support the channel because it's only a couple bucks a month and it's the best way to help out the channel at the current at this current moment in time. So I definitely appreciate it if you did that. But anyway... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace! Oh, 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 got it. Fortunately, you can see where they are. Okay, these mines are starting to be obnoxious, though.